Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Nisi and today I'm going to be uh, threading my hair. I'm going to be doing African threading as an alternative to doing cornrows as a protective style under my wigs without talking until kingdom come. Let's get started. So I've already started on the first line and to start off the second I'm applying Aunt Jackie's Curl Lala as my leave-in conditioner. I'm applying it all through my hair from the roots all the way to the tips making sure I focus on my ends and then I'm sealing this in with some sheer butter this is really just to seal in that moisture and make sure my hair stays hydrated and nourished all throughout uh, the time that I'm going to wear this hair I'm also detangling my hair and just brushing the roots so that the style can look as neat as possible and then taking a piece of uh, thread, I'm using wool, about an arm's length. I'm twisting uh, my hair first and then I'm going to hold a piece of this thread against the hair and start wrapping from the roots of my hair all the way down the shaft to the ends. Um, the reason why I decided to do this is because, to be honest, I was too lazy to do my cornrows and figured this would take less time and would be less strain on my arms and it's a good style if you don't have the skill to do cornrows if you can't do cornrows then this is probably uh, an easier style to do because you it doesn't take as much skill I think but I still had a little bit of trouble uh, with the strain on my hands so when you get to the end, you want to fold the end against um, the shaft and keep wrapping that thread around the hair and then form a loop to secure the thread against um, the hair. When you're done with that section, you want to move on to the next one. Moisturize, seal and detangle first and then you want to split, split that section of hair into half and then feed that piece that you've already done through the middle and then you want to twist it to secure it before you start threading um, it's really important if you want it to really and then at this point I'm gonna add my thread Doing the same thing again for that last segment, splitting it into two and feeding that threaded hair through the middle, twisting it and making sure that it's secure before um, wrapping it with the thread. I'm just pressing down, I'm just pressing down on the hair like this to make sure that it's not too tight and it's not pulling on my nape because that can be quite uncomfortable if it's too tight and you want to avoid breaking your hair and causing any breakage. All done! Yes. Uh, now I need to secure these bits here so that they're not hanging like this. I'm gonna need more thread. That was it actually wasn't too bad and it didn't take too long. Uh, it doesn't feel too tight. Uh, it feels pretty comfortable and hopefully i can keep it in for so this is how my wig looks with um the threading underneath and this is a curly wig so i kind of i can get away with uh wearing this as a curly wig because it kind of the volume kind of covers up all the bumps and things like that so i wanted to show you how this looks with 
straight hair so I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna put my straight wig on Okay, this wig actually has a front, um, it doesn't have a frontal, it has a closure, so it's a little bit different. Let's see. This is not okay, so um, although I can wear the threading underneath my wig with the curly hair and it's fine, it just doesn't work the same with this wig. And trust me, I've tried ironing the wig flat as I normally do with all my straight wigs and it just didn't work with this. So it's, it's not the wig, it's definitely not the wig because the wig is really flat at the top. It's definitely um, these little buns here. So maybe next time. <sighs> Boy, I need to oil my scalp. So maybe next time when I do them, I should probably try not to have these sections right at the top of my head because it's just gonna cause those really obvious bumps. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.